our next guest you know as the boy from About a Boy and in X-Man 2, he received an Emmy nomination for courting Catherine the Great, and now you can see him eat in the new movie, The Menu. It opens the theaters tomorrow. Please welcome Nicholas Holt. <laughs> Welcome. How you doing? I heard you like to race Ferraris also. I do. I like. I busted into Patrick's dressing room to talk about it. That oh, movie yeah. sounds ex uh, very exciting. I don't have that bug in me, but boy, it seems like when you get it, it is something. It's like all you can think about. It really hooks in there on you. Uh, How long have you been doing that? You know what? Not too long. I kind of got into it through Michael Fassbender and X Men, and oh. and then Ferrari have kindly given me the chance to kind of get into it more and more. I actually had my first race. Probably two months ago. Is there a better name for a race car driver than Fastbender? I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, it's, you sound like you're going fast. Yeah, for Holt sure. Doesn't really work for that. This is your yeah. No, Holt is not a good race car no, guy name. But, but um, uh, there you are. You look official. You look like you're doing it. They gave you the helmet. And, yeah. Is this? Are these the standings here? 16. That's the, that. That was the names of everyone who was laughing at that moment. That wasn't. All right, actual, so you didn't finish the the actual, 17th out of 20. Places. I'd have been thrilled to finish 17th. Oh, Lucky in was... pictures, you can't see how slow I am. <laughs> I'm the beginning of the journey. I'm getting. I'm getting. What's better. slow? How many miles per hour is slow in uh, one of these? Well, the fastest I've been so far in one of those tracks uh, was at Coda, which I think we did 165, 170 miles per hour down the straight. Is this in a straightaway? Or... That was on the straightaway. Yeah, not through the corner. Oh boy! And I'm just I'm closing my eyes, screaming. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I hope it was on the straight. Could you be Patrick Dempsey if we set up? No, a, no, no. no you cannot. No, way faster, way more skilled. But that's why I wanted to go in there and like ask him questions, you know, figure it out. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, you're sizing them up. No, no, no. I'm sizing them up. I just want to. <laughs> I, want to I want to be that. I want, to, I want that skill. I want to learn. You. Uh, I know you just shot a movie with Nicolas Cage. Yeah. yeah. And he, Nicolas Cage was here in April, I think, and he was, I have to say, one of the most interesting and delightful guest we've ever had. I was really taken by him. Yeah. And I wonder, you worked with him when you were just a, a kid, right? On Yeah, the first film I did in America was a film called The Weatherman, and I played his son in that. You played his son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was he like as your movie dad? Uh, he was great from what I remember, but also I was like 14, so it's all just a bit of a yeah. blur. It seems normal, but also clearly it's not. It's Nicolas Cage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then it's got even more bizarre over the years because now he's in this movie that we just shot, it's called Renfield, and I'm kind of playing his familiar. He's playing Dracula, which is like, yeah, that's He's us. playing Count Dracula, and you're his familiar, which, uh... It, it makes sense why I'm moving like that when you see the film, I swear. That's yeah. like, <laughs> that's not a bold acting choice. There is kind of, it's, it's a fun action comedy, and that's kind of maybe the beginning of a Oh, it's a comedy? Sequ yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't know, yeah, I mean... Yeah, yeah, no, sorry, I, I should have yeah. probably said that. It's a comedy about yeah. kind of... I've been his familiar for 100 years, and I'm tired of working for Dracula. He's very narcissistic. He's a horrible <laughs> boss. How do I, like, get away from him, essentially? That's fun. Yeah, yeah. Did you, have you ever had, like, a crazy Nick Cage night with him? I haven't, you know. You haven't. Do you think that's sadly. because you played his son, and maybe he thinks of you in a paternal way? Well, <laughs> yeah, he didn't, he didn't, like, take me out for any wild nights when I was 14. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, and this, we were working a lot of nights, actually. That's a lot of night shoots on that, so we had no time to Well, sure, you're vampires. You could have gone for a crazy bunch. You can't be out in the middle of the sun. Yeah, I mean, exactly. it's, yeah, it's one of the hazards of being in a vampire yeah. movie, I guess. So, um, OK, so nothing like that. No, he just is just normal to I you. I found him, like, it was, uh, like, you, like you said, he was so focused and charming and brings all this inspiration from all these brilliant films. And he's, He's just passionate, and it's like it's really enthusiastic. Like for everyone around him, he just brings the best. He elevates. We had like a crazy moment where we were still weeks from shooting, and he like we were in the rehearsal in like the director's office, and he just like put his script down and knew all his lines already. And it was just like standing over me, delivering all these lines, and I'm laying on the floor pretending my stomach's cut open. Like, I don't know, it was bizarre. I don't really, I'm not really telling that story well. I wasn't planning on telling it. I'll work on it. <laughs> it's all you know right. It's... When I get to do Impress for that film, I'll tell that story. <laughs> okay, yeah. That'd be great. All right, come back <laughs> and, yeah, think about it and retell it. Yeah. You, um, <laughs> although I think we probably got it. He's over you doing the lines, yeah, right? Yeah, no, no. Yeah. He, it just meant that he's so prepared and ready, you know, weeks from production. He's like, you, you know. became famous when you were how old? Uh, 11. 11 ish? years yeah, old. Famous ish, I don't know. Have you ever had like a job, like a, I don't mean, I mean to indicate that acting is not a job. It kind of is. Real um, yeah, but have you ever had like a regular job? Uh, I think the, 
the closest I'd maybe been, which doesn't really sound that close, was I was like, I was like the roadie for my best friend who used to radio like DJ kids' birthday parties. You would carry his stuff? So I'd like set up the smoke machine and the lights. And then when he needed a certain CD, it was back in the day of CDs, you know? So uh -huh. he'd have a big book of CDs and he'd be like, get me CD 46. And I'd be flipping through and I'd be like, I don't know where 46 is. And he'd be like, we need to drop it now. Uh, and then he'd send me out onto the dance floor as well when it was like, the Macarena or... Oh, you would have to get the or one crowd of those, going? And I'd be like, I don't even know these dances. Here I am trying to lead, like, these younger kids from school in this dance. I did this, too. When I was in college, I had to do, do that. And then they were like, right. yeah, get the guys, get the people dancing. I was like, yeah, but I don't dance. What, what was your go-to? What was the song that you... Um, you well, you for me, um, Cool It Now by New Edition was a big one. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, there was a whole... Okay. Yeah, there was a whole uh, routine that I yeah, 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 okay. that. I'll share it with you later. Thank the you. next appearance... <laughs> As you tell me about Nick Cage hovering over you while your belly is cut open, I will maybe teach you the Cool It Now dance. Thank you, yeah. Now, this new movie, I know you're getting incredibly yeah. great reviews for the movie. Yeah. I don't know how much I can say about the movie because there's, it, it, it could be ruined. It's, it's tricky to promote because there's a lot of spoilers. Yeah. And that's what was so fun reading the script initially. You read it and you go, it takes so many turns that you don't expect. But basically the premise is, is, is this elite high-class chef has invited a, uh, a bunch of uh, guests to this restaurant, and he serves up an unexpected evening. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. 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 That seems it's like it's like a satirical dark comedy uh, commentary on society at the moment, I guess. And Ray Fiennes is the uh, chef, yes, yes, and yes. you are uh, you, you, a guy who eats, really, right? I'm like, a, I'm like a foodie, like fanboy who just adores this chef and is there. He's the most excited person to be there in the world, um, and is kind of very obnoxious and cringeworthy and and eats non-stop. He's very greedy as well. I ate every day on that set. My plate and Anya Taylor-Joy plays Margot, the, the character that I'm going on the date with, and, uh, and I ate all her food as well. How do you I prepare for a role like that? Do you um, eat? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly why I did it, which is great, because like a lot of prep for like films, they're like, oh, yeah, you have to do this, you have to do this. You have you to like, learn to ride a horse or whatever, like, and you're like, stuff or like give me a things. fork. This, I was like, OK, I laid on the sofa watching Chef's Table, and I ate, and I went to nice restaurants, and I was like, this is what I got to do. That, now that I'm sounds acting. like a gig right there. Yeah. Well, it's great to have you here. Uh, the movie's called The Menu. It opens the theaters tomorrow. Nicholas Holt, everybody, tomorrow. We'll be back with the Vaccine Lovers. Put on